the scientists were giving us a very strong advice, and that is that we have to limit climate change to maximum 2 degrees Celsius, otherwise the costs are going to be tremendous. Now, the flip side of that is that we will have to live with some degree of climate change, and we will have to cope with the effects of that. Now, adaptation is making our societies better equipped to cope with the effects of climate change. It will be very different according to where you are on the planet. Uh, in Europe, we will have to cope with water. We will have to cope with uh, flooding more frequently. We will have to uh, cope also with the lack of water, with droughts. So water is becoming a hot issue for Europe at large. Uh, the flooding, for example, we will have to adapt our dikes. Now we will have to look perhaps also for other agricultural practices or to equip ourselves better with water supplies to do the cooling of our energy installations. So there are so many elements, but they are very local, and we have to think how to equip ourselves best uh, to cope with this effect. One of the biggest elements on the budget of the EU is regional support. And the regional support are given to almost all member states, but massively to the less wealthy member states. 25% today of the regional support given by the European uh, Union is already coping with climate change and is incorporating the effects of climate change. We asked all the member states to make a strategy on adaptation. Uh, some are still doing that, but more than 20 member states have already finalized that uh, strategy. Now, it's a first goal because we come from a long way. In fact, uh, member states have to rethink their programs for infrastructure, their programs for urbanization uh, or for regional and rural development. So uh, it, this element was a bit new to these uh, planners. And so we are preparing for that reason a second go at the um, adaptation strategy. It is becoming more important, not only because of the Paris Agreement, where adaptation is on equal footing with mitigation, but also we realize that we cannot have a climate policy only concentrated on bringing down emissions. Of course, that's very important for us. We must bring down our emissions. But now that we are doing that and that our policies are in place, now we have to invest much more time in preparing for adapting ourselves to climate change. And we talk to a raft of people. We talk to the cities, for example. We have the covenant of the mayors. We have more than 6,000 mayors in Europe who have a lot of questions about how to do that. And we are going to see an important place given to them in our new adaptation strategy.